So you're ready to start editing, you say. Well, the first thing we've got to do is get these drones up, get some footage, and then we start editing. You ready? Let's fly. So first things first, you've got to download Filmora. Good news is it's available for PC and for Mac. When you launch Filmora, it looks like this. Very simple, very clean, very easy interface. You can hit import and just uh, import files right here or you could just click on this box right here, right? It accesses your computer and you can pull your files from your computer into your editing program. I like to hit this little plus box right here and make, I don't know, a folder called Mavic Air 2. And here I click the plus sign now and I'll drag all my Mavic Air 2 uh, videos, clips into there. So if I go to Mavic Air 2 on my computer, here it is, Mavic Air 2. I hit Control A to highlight all or you could just use your mouse and drag it over all the clips whichever one works for you is fine and highlight all the clips and just hit open bam <laughs> all your clips come in here right and these are 4k clips right now i'll hit plus again and create another folder and this one i'll call it mavic mini right and this will create another um folder called Mavic Mini hit enter and then hit the plus sign again and then I'll go back out of my Mavic Air go into my Mavic Mini and you see why I like to organize my stuff on my computer because it makes it easier to find and easier to import and when I create folders in my editing software everything kind of matches up and it's seamless again you don't have to do that but I'm quirky like that let me know in the comment section if you're like that too I've got all my Mavic Mini stuff I will do the same thing I will highlight all and hit open great so now we've got our dji mavic mini footage imported into our editing editing software along with the mavic air 2 footage we're ready to edit now here's where the creative process kind of differs and for me it all depends on what mood i'm in and what kind of feel i'm going for in my video music is very important so my go-to spot for music is right here youtube audio library link in the description below it's a great way to get free music and i just go here and i select what i'm looking for instrumental um, you can go for all types of moods or feels i'll go to my mood usually i'm going for something dramatic because that goes with my personality and um look at this one here this one's pretty new I like this I like this beat this goes nice I'll hit download boom that's it it goes straight to your computer you tell it where you want it I would hit you hit save and that's it it goes straight to your computer so we found ourselves a song a nice song to go with the type of footage that we're using let's hit this plus for music and we will import the song in here Bam. now here's what's cool about Filmora, Filmora 9 you just right click on this with your mouse and you hit beat detection and what it's going to do see this little icon there well it's finished now when you drag this down to your timeline in the music session look it leaves little markers where the beat changes so you can use that to your advantage when to transition from one shot to another now some people drag their music down first and they put their drone clips which is my mavic mini or my mavic air 2 clips and people will drag the clips down afterwards and cut it according to the music you can do it the other way around you can drag your clips down first i've got a clip here this is the first clip let's bring it down you can bring your clip down and then cut out the pieces that you like 
and then try to sync it with the music. That's usually what I do. Now, you might want to stop where the beat changes on the red markers over here. Now, if you have a hard time seeing exactly where the red marker falls, you can always widen out. See that? Widen out. And you can always make it smaller or narrower if you have a lot of things in the timeline. So you can just put your uh, hold down on the le on the left button on the mouse, and you can make your timeline wider or shorter. If you don't like doing it that way, you can use this over here, the plus and the minus. The plus will make it larger, and the minus will make it smaller. So there's options, whichever way you prefer. Another thing I don't know if you noticed, but when it was time to cut the clip, the scissors is right here. I don't even have to move and go up here to the scissors, and you can drag it up if it's in your way or bring it back down it's fully adjustable so this is really cool it doesn't bother me I like it there if I highlight this clip you see there's a blue line going around this clip and I hit the cut button it will cut this I don't want to cut this so let's undo I'll highlight the song at the bottom and then I'll hit cut and it will cut the song only and now I can take this clip by clicking on it slide it over and guess what it's going to start right where that cut mark is right now when it comes to moving back and forth on the timeline there's a few options you can grab the top here with the mouse with the left button and just drag it back and forth but if you're a keyboard type of person check this out you just go to the help section right there and you hit keyboard shortcuts this will show you all of the shortcut buttons what everything is for now I'm not a keyboard type of person because I'm not good with typing I never took typing I'm kind of slow with it the only thing I do use my keyboard for I'll hit spacebar to start a clip spacebar to stop a clip and then my arrow keys I use my four arrow keys up on the arrow key goes back to the beginning of the clip down on the arrow clip goes to the end of the clip up goes to the beginning and beginning end of the clip so that's a good way to jump between clips and of course there's a left and right arrow which helps you scrub through slowly going forward and going backward so that's about the only uh, buttons that I use on the keyboard but of course you have much more options now I've got my beginning highlighted over here BAM here we go and what I can do also let's just start this right by this little red I'll drag my my uh, arrow right here right here where the beat kind of goes through a change I'll cut and then right around here see how it's kind of building up the song is building up more steam while the song is building up more steam it changes right at that red marker look bam it changes right at the red marker right there so let's go back on the marker a little bit right there on that red marker is where it changes I'm gonna cut right there widen out if I need to zoom in and fall exactly on that marker bam and then I hit cut bang I've cut right at that marker so I can change the clip I can do whatever I want from that point let's zoom back in and see now I'm probably, yeah, I kind of like this whole clip like that. Part of me wants to speed it up. I can just click on it, hit the speed button right there. Uh, you can go to custom speed. You can slow it down. You can speed it up. You can go normal if you made a mistake and you want to put it back to normal. And you can even put the clip in reverse. Everything is right here. Like this whole menu here is right at your fingertips. It's so easy. You can go 2x, 4x, 8x, 20x. If not, you're not happy with that, just go to custom speed. And you can move this slider or type the duration uh, at which you want the clip to move at. And, and it's as simple as that. So for me, let's go speed. Let's just let's just four X it and see what happens. See, it, it shows you here on the clip four X. So now the clip is going to move four times faster. Um, at the top here, you can see I don't I don't I didn't render, but it it's set to automatic rendering. All of these stuff you see just went the bar just went from red to green. All of those things are in your settings, so you can click here. Um, when you have time go into your preferences and set it up uh, go on to performance if you have a GPU and stuff like that if you don't have it then it's not a big deal but if you do have a, a 
a fast card. Mine's not fast. It's a pretty old computer, but it is what it is. You can set up for for things like this. Um, you can you can tell it to save every minute or every five minutes or every ten minutes. It's got a lot of cool settings over here. You could tell it where to save all of your files. You can go sixteen by nine. You can go one by one. You can change all of these resolutions. Um, to whatever you want you can go full HD 4k DCI 4k or you can customize it as well so if you don't know what these things are it's fine just drop your clip in and it will adjust to your clip um, whatever your clip was shot in but if you want to take it to the next level understand that there's some pretty cool features in there and that's one of the reasons why I still use it uh, let's play it and see how it plays damn Part of me is like, that's really fast. I could sit down and, 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 and really work this clip into something really, really nice. But just to show you how basic edits are done. The other thing I want to do, I like how this, how is this starts right here. So I'm going to cut this song and delete this part right here and pull the clip to the beginning. So the whole clip just starts with that heavy intro like... Yeah. Now part of me is like, you know this, I'll put it back to uh, normal, which is pretty cool. You can undo or just put it back to normal and it goes back to what it was. So let's take a look at what we have now. At that particular point where it's about to go bang, that's where I'm going to cut the song right here, right at the bang. Hear that bang? Let's go again. That's the bang. At this particular point, I'm going to cut the clip right here. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to offer what I want to reveal at the bang. At the bang, I think I want to reveal... Uh, get this i'll switch to the mavic air 2 and i will reveal something just let me see if i have a nice city shot towards the city or something here or maybe i can do flying through these towers uh, see this is the creative process guys you have to know what you're going for right how about this i'm just gonna fly through here on the bang like stop it right there and just let's drag this down here and see how it looks now you don't have to mess with what's here already in case you change your mind you want to go back and forth just drop the clip on top of the other clip and it'll override it so that's what i'm doing right now however bear in mind you will need pc power once you're starting to stack clips on top of another you might want to have a more powerful pc if not just move this highlight this stuff right drag it over to the side so it's out of the way and then bring your clip down so it does one clip at a time. You don't even have to bring it down. You can leave it up there. But anyway, let's see how this looks, right? We're going to scroll back a little bit and let it let it run through. Let it play. Let's see how this works. Well, turn up the volume. Roll back. Okay, the, the timing is right. We just have to cut to the right shot now. So I'm going to scrub forward, scrub forward. I want the top of that bang like right there I'm gonna cut that's where I want to start the the dramatic uh, effect I'm gonna hit delete I'm gonna highlight the clip now pull it over bang line it up now let's see how the results look now nice okay so I'm gonna pull back a little bit as soon as I clear this then I'm gonna stop here I'm gonna cut that I'm gonna delete it now what else am I looking for? So I flew through there. Maybe there's a church clip over here. There's a nice clip with the church. Oh, how about this? You know what? I should have used this Mavic Mini clip to go through. That would have been nice because this looks really nice. I don't need this. Cut out all the fluff. As you can see, just cutting out all the fluff. How about that? Bam, I'll cut this right there. As soon as I clear that piece right there, that's where I'm gonna cut. So this here, we don't need this. 
Bam, that's a nice shot. Wait a minute. I'm just wondering now. And you see, this is what the creative process is all about. If I push this over here instead, let's bring this back over here, this guy under here. Good. Let's let's see how this works instead because now I'm curious. Bear in mind I'm editing this in real time so you're actually seeing this is what I actually do. I sit down and I pick apart and I try to go for a feel and this is what art is all about. This is what creativity is all about. Just indulge in it, have fun with it and play with it. Oh I like that. I like that. We'll keep that going. Let's see where this goes. At the top here, you can scrub through your clips really fast. Just hold it down and drag through to see if that's the clip that you're really looking for. You can drag through really fast. That's not it. Let me click on the next one. You can uh, go through your clips really fast and see what you want. All right, so I'm going to drag through this one. Oh, that's a nice shot. Bam. Another good piece of advice is it's always good to edit your videos right after you film because you kind of remember what you film as opposed to letting days go by, which I'm guilty of. I think I'm going to go with this one, the church that's rising. It looks nice. It has a city in the background. So let's drag this one and drop it down and let's find the point at which we want to start. And cutting is very important. You know, this is what I'm doing. I'm finding the point where I want to start cutting and I'll go with right here. Bang. Or maybe a little lower. A lower point there you go the city's not showing that much in the background so I'll cut it right there delete you uh, drag you over here and let's run through you a little bit Bam! this is a beautiful shot maybe we'll stop as soon as the cross goes out of the picture bam let's cut right there as you can see, I'm not cutting to the music. I'm cutting to the shot that I'm going for. And then I'm trying to adjust the music uh, into it afterwards. So let's see how this works. Let's see how it plays. And then we'll make a decision. So I drag it back, turn up the volume. I like that. I like that. This is nice. 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 I like this shot. Oh, look at that. And then you get a little black, which is like a little moment for waiting. Bam. Then you see where the cut is at the bottom here. That's where the next beat changes. I cut it right there. So just before the beat changes, you get a black screen. And then something even more dramatic. What would be something even more dramatic? I would think this clip here would be even more dramatic. So let's bring him in. Drag this back over. Let's see how this works now. Ooh! Nice. Except when we cut into this clip, we want to cut in the motion that we're looking for. Something nice up close and personal or we could start right here cut this right I'm having a speed ramp moment where I'm thinking let's just delete this right bring it up there let all of this run in fast forward for high speed until it reaches like about here right here that's a moment cut it right here all right move this clip away I'm not working on you Oh, this end too soon. Is that that I'm pretty sure I kept recording? Uh, let's stretch this clip out some more. I think I cut this clip too early. Let's stretch it out. There we go. Damn. Love it. Love it. Okay. So now we've got to speed this guy up. Give him some speed. What does it would mean to speed? I know I'm addicted to this speed stuff. Give him some speed. Oops. By the way, I hit the color button. That's how you color grade. You can adjust your color grade. You have presets. You can do white balance. As I mistakenly pressed it, I might as well run you through it. You can adjust your temperature. You can add LUTs. So this this uh, this software goes uh, pretty darn deep, right? It gets there. Uh, color none. Uh, color. You can adjust your exposure, your brightness, saturation, vibrance, light. It's got a lot of nice features uh, built into it. So, but we're not going to color. I pressed the wrong button. 
we are going to we're going to be hitting the speed button that was the color that i pressed this is the speed and what i really like about filmora guys let me take a second to just tell you is everything is pretty much laid out right here your back button your forward button your delete button your cut button of course you've got the cut here for convenience as well your framing if you want to crop into something it's right there if you want to crop into something and focus on a certain point then you've got crop in and zoom where you can zoom in as you're cropping this is your end point that's your start point i don't want to get into all of this because this is supposed to be a short basic brief tutorial but i do want you to know that the features are there when it's time for you to get better and improve you don't have to worry about switching out softwares this will take you pretty far okay getting back on track now let's go back to this we've got a clip um, i was supposed to hit the speed button so let me hit it now and we're going to be going fast how fast um because this is kind of a jump in I would say 8x let's go 8x and see how that looks bam that's really fast right so we're gonna go 8x into into this so let's drag back and see how it looks I always like to preview my stuff and make sure that it, that it's flowing hit the space bar we go into the black moment so let me find one nice clip to close this off I kind of want to end it with like uh, flying backwards into the away from the uh, what you call it okay so here we go let's look at this clip I think this clip is flying forward oh no it is flying backwards oh this is a nice way to end it okay so we're definitely gonna end this video on this clip for sure so let's close this up drag this down pause it drag it down um, I'm not going to use this clip so delete it just click on it and hit delete and it goes away and then we're going to pull this clip together let's look for a good flow point good I feel like they're starting to cut a nice flow cut there delete this excess off and then we'll go here slowly backing away slowly backing away slowly backing away let's raise up the volume Now that's what I don't want. I don't want to go into another high point, although I will um, utilize it properly. We gotta find an ending point. And I'm gonna time this to the video. Right where it goes. Let's try right here. I'll try and cut right here. See that? Delete this. All right, I'm also going to cut right here and delete this right now to make the video the the sound not end abruptly I'm just gonna double click on the song and then if you look up here a menu appears it's like everything is right in front of you which is cool I just slide this bar that says fade out right and if you look at the bottom here pay attention here while I slide the bar right I'm gonna go up back and slide the bar you can see the fading how strong it is this is a strong fade that's an abrupt fade this is a smoother fade so let's go for a smoother fade right around here and then let's play it and see how it ends it's actually going to be toning down 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 it's toning down not bad not a bad ending at all one last touch I want to put on this ending look up here we have another menu up here that's easily accessible let's just hit titles titles you have a plethora of titles that you can go through all different types right you can play around with it and see it I usually like to start with the most basic title I'll just drag it and bring it right down here we go put my title towards the end I can make it as wide as I want I can make it as narrow as I want right let's make the title longer let's stretch it out like here this whole end piece is basically gonna be I don't know a basic thanks for watching let the clip start a little bit and then you'll get the thank you for watching right now it says put your title here go in this box right here click like a, like a regular typing pad and just type thanks for watching uh, when it comes to, to options here oh my gosh uh, from the size of the writing which is 80 you can bring it to smaller 
or bigger if you want um, it's all up to you let's leave it there you can go bold italic typical stuff and then when you click advanced down here you have more features that you can use I mean you can pull the drop down menu and, t and change the fonts typical uh, typing program whether you want it in the beginning middle if you've ever used word it's the same basic kind of thing and then on the left side here you have uh, presets so like you can go opacity so look at the writing as I slide down the opacity it becomes more transparent so I'm gonna go with a little transparency because I'm overlaying it over the uh, video so let's leave it a little transparent you can add some blur to it if you want make it blurry All right so let's put a little blur in there just for kicks um, I can add by clicking this box here a border right and I can change the color for the border any color that I want on the border I can put let's go with black that's more uh, thing and then we could put some blur in the black if we want let's blur it out a little bit let's make the black a little blurry if you want and then there's size you can make it thick size thin size I mean this is only an example it goes on you can add shadows as well I mean you can you can pretty much do anything you want then you come over here to animations and you can make it come through like a typewriter look at it, it comes through like a typewriter you have all different types of animations that you can use right so I mean you can go through it's a lot right I love the typewriter I don't know even though it doesn't have the let's go with the typewriter click OK and let's run it through and see how it plays let's come down here start somewhere around here nice thanks for watching All right bear in mind you can just click on the writing when it's on the screen and just double click on it and drag the box to move it around anywhere that you want it to move so we could bring it up in the sky if that makes it you know a little bit better you have that flexibility of doing whatever you want the last thing that I want to show you guys how to do in this basic tutorial uh, is transitions transitions are right up here look where my mouse clicker is you have auto you have transition you have effects elements so many things you can do with this program and everything it seems to be at hand reach um, which is why I love it um, okay so let's do a transition I mean there's tons of transitions here cool transitions but I, I like this one let's go in the the ease effect and let's put a transition here look I dragged it from here I'm bringing it down in the timeline boom you could see the transition right here so let's click there and see how that transition looks see that see that you get a nice smooth blend and you have yourself a drone video this one here is 57 seconds long it's perfect for Facebook sharing it's under a minute you can even share it on Instagram if you want for short form content let me know in the comment section if you want me to make more of this type of content for you if it's something that you really want also let's give it one last playback look guys you don't if you don't have a fast drive a top-notch computer Filmora doesn't take that much to run I'll leave a link in the description that shows you the basic operating features but it's nothing crazy and remember majority of what your computer can handle is not so much the software that you're using to edit these videos it's more about the videos that you're actually editing for example if you decide to edit for 4k or film in 4k because you're using the DJI Mavic Air 2, let's say, or the, or the Mavic 2 Pro. Well, 4K is going to take more resources and power from your computer automatically to edit. So take that into consideration. Now, this is a sponsored video, and that means that Filmora paid me not to promote their program, but to show you guys how to use Filmora. Every single 
video on my YouTube channel is made using Filmora. Editing is one thing, but you also need to know how to fly. That's another. Check this link here to learn how to do cinematic videos in particular with the DJI Mavic Mini. Although it applies to all drones hit that thumbs up till it turns blue if you like this type of content let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section down below make sure you hit subscribe if you have not subscribed already and hit the bell so you can get notified when i release more videos like this if this is what you're interested in let me know in the comment section as well share this video with anyone you know wants to learn basic editing with that being said guys i will see you whenever i can Big shout out to Autonomous Drone Services and MadMixTube.com for providing us with the equipment to make these videos possible. I'm still giving away six DJI Mavic 2 Pros or Zooms. Head over to my Patreon account, donate a dollar, become a patron, and automatically you're entered to win a chance to win one of six of those drones. Guys, let's make this happen. Come on, support me and help me support you.